Good day, everyone. Today we are taking an in-depth look into a transformative book that speaks directly to all those who aim for leadership excellence, Coached to Lead. How to Achieve Extraordinary Results with an Executive Coach is an insightful guide that teaches us how to leverage executive coaching to unlock maximum potential and deliver high-performance results. This impressive piece of work is authored by Susan Battlewy, a distinguished psychologist and leadership expert. With over two decades of experience, she has an unwavering commitment to helping executives and organizations attain peak performance. Battlewy is renowned for her intelligent, hard-hitting, and pragmatic style, which reflects in her writing. Key point one, coaching need. Executive coaching is no longer a luxury. It has become a necessity in the modern corporate world. Susan Battlewy insists that coaching isn't merely for struggling executives, but also for those performing well and looking to enhance their potential. It presents a critical solution for leaders at all levels to further sharpen their skills, tackle their blind spots, and bolster their strengths to achieve better results. It's not about fixing what's broken, but about fostering continuous learning and growth. Battlewise strongly asserts that embracing coaching is a proactive step toward excellence, not an admission of failure or weakness. It's about embracing the potential for continuous growth and development in leadership roles, regardless of current performance level. Key point two, right coach. Selecting the right coach is vital. Battle Y emphasizes that the right coach is not simply someone with experience or good testimonials, but someone who genuinely understands your specific needs and can guide you towards your goals. The wrong coach can, at best, lead to wasted time and money, and at worst, cause significant damage. Battle Y urges leaders to treat the selection process as they would when hiring a top executive. Leaders should conduct due diligence, interview potential candidates, and ensure a good fit before investing time and money. Key point three, coachability. Coachability is a crucial attribute for success in executive coaching. Battle Y explains that coachability isn't merely about being open to feedback and advice. It also involves being willing to change one's behavior and attitude. Without a willingness to change, even the best coaching efforts can be futile. It requires humility, openness, and a commitment to personal growth. As Battle Y puts it, the process of coaching is a two-way street. The coach offers guidance, but the coachee must be ready to put in the necessary work. Key point four, trust building. Trust between the coach and the coachee is an integral part of successful coaching. Battle Y suggests that the best executive coaching relationships are built on a foundation of trust and mutual respect. Without trust, open and honest communication becomes challenging. Coaches need access to their coaches' inner thoughts, motivations, and fears to offer meaningful guidance. This level of vulnerability can only be achieved if the coachee trusts their coach and feels confident in their confidentiality. Key point five, goal setting. Battle Y emphasizes the importance of setting clear, achievable goals. Goals provide direction and purpose to the coaching process, and the absence of goals can lead to unfocused efforts and wasted resources. However, merely setting goals isn't enough. They need to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. A well-defined goal is an essential compass that keeps the coachee on the right track towards achieving their desired outcomes. Key point six, feedback process. A constructive feedback process forms the crux of effective coaching. Battlewy illustrates that the feedback process in coaching isn't just about correcting wrongs, it's about reinforcing positives and guiding development. Feedback must be timely, specific, and constructive. It's crucial to remember that the goal of feedback is improvement, not criticism. Battlewy emphasizes the importance of a two-way feedback process, where both the coach and the coachee are open to giving and receiving feedback. Key point seven, personal responsibility. Battle Y underscores the importance of personal responsibility in the coaching process. She emphasizes that, while the coach is there to guide and facilitate, the ultimate responsibility for change and growth lies with the coachee. This means showing up, being engaged, completing assignments, and following through on agreed actions. If the coachee is not committed to the process, no amount of coaching can help them reach their goals. 
Personal responsibility is thus a key component of successful coaching. Key point eight, learning application. Learning application is an essential aspect of coaching. BattleY believes that whatever is learned during the coaching sessions should be directly applicable to real life scenarios. It's not just about theoretical knowledge, but about practical implementation. The real test of coaching's effectiveness lies in how well the coachee can apply the learned skills and insights in their day-to-day -day life and professional scenarios. BattleY asserts that a good coach ensures this transfer of learning from theory to practice. Key point nine, measuring progress. According to BattleY, measuring progress is a crucial part of the coaching process. Just like any other initiative, the effectiveness of coaching should be evaluated regularly. Progress should be measured not just by subjective feelings of improvement, but also by tangible markers like increased productivity, improved leadership effectiveness, and enhanced interpersonal relationships. Regularly assessing progress ensures that the coaching process is on track and yielding the desired results. Key point 10, continual development. Finally, BattleY highlights that coaching is not a one and done deal. It's a part of an ongoing personal and professional development process. Even after a coaching engagement ends, the journey of growth and learning continues. BattleY encourages leaders to view coaching as a powerful tool in their development toolkit and to revisit it as needed at different stages of their career. In conclusion, Susan Battley's Coached to Lead provides a powerful roadmap for leaders aiming to unlock their fullest potential through executive coaching. Her emphasis on the need for coaching, choosing the right coach, coachability, trust building, goal setting, feedback process, personal responsibility, learning application, measuring progress, and continual development illuminates the path to leadership excellence. In a fast-paced and ever-changing business environment, these insights are not just beneficial but crucial. Every individual aiming for leadership excellence should consider executive coaching as a tool to boost their career trajectory. Battley's pragmatic advice serves as a reminder that embracing change and learning are at the core of successful leadership. As we wrap up our discussion on Coached to Lead, remember, growth is a continuous journey and the pursuit of excellence never ends. Whether you are an aspiring leader, a seasoned executive, or someone looking to boost their leadership skills, this book serves as a powerful guide. We hope you find these insights as transformative as we have. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to exploring more enlightening books with you in the future.